Good morning. This is Van Meter Elementary School. Today we are we have set up or I have set up a heart, human heart course. The students are learning about how the blood flows through the heart. It's heart month. It's February. This is a great activity that I've um, you know taken from other people or come up with to trying to celebrate heart month. So this is how I've designed our human heart course. There are certainly other ones out there. I want to thank uh, Ben Perillo out of Texas for the inspiration. Also Mike Graham for your inspiration also. Thank you for the ideas. And uh, I put a couple twists on that for to make it a little bit my own. So when we enter the right atrium, students grab a scooter. Okay, so they sit on the scooter on their bottom. As you can see, we have our nice place cards here. Again, I want to thank Ben Perillo for sharing these. Such a great resource. So we're going through the right atrium on our bottoms. We're using our feet to scooter through, scooter through. We're going through the tricuspid valve here into the right ventricle. We're still on our scooter. We're going around. And we are now to go up the pulmonary artery. We're going to still sit on our scooter. We're going to grab the tug of war rope. And we're going to pull ourselves up, up towards the head in our body. So we're pulling, still on our scooters, pulling, pulling, pulling. When we get to the free throw line, we're going to put our scooters into back into the container. And now we are going to go visit the lungs. Okay, in the lungs, we are going to pick up oxygen. So each ball represents oxygen. The students grab a ball, and then they now are going to enter the left atrium. We have hula hoops here. They're going to jump with two feet, land, and each hula hoop kind of zigzag back and forth as they go through the left atrium. We're going to kind of get skinny here, go through the mitral valve. And we have another set of hula hoops here in a nice straight line where, as we go through the left ventricle. So we're jumping, jumping, jumping through the hula hoops. We're going to run down around these cones. And now we're making a big U-turn. Again, we're going parallel with the pulmonary artery. We're going to go exiting the heart here soon. We're going to go up the balance beams towards the head. So we're walking across the balance beam, still holding on to our oxygen Going across two balance beams, and we get up here to the aorta. We put the oxygen back in the lungs just for ease of purpose. And now once we go past the, up to the aorta, we have two choices. We can either go to the brain or to the body. If we go to the brain, we are turning left, and we are going in between our pole here and the wall. We're going to jump over these four mini hurdles, and we will go to this table. On the table, I have note cards. These note cards have been developmentally created based on the ability of the student. I have K1 note cards, I have 2, 3, and I have 4, 5. These are math problems. So if a student goes and picks up a note card, they read the question on it, then they simply flip it over and the answer is on the back. If they get it correct, they put the note card back on the table, then they go back in and enter the heart through the superior vena cava which is right here, and back into the heart. If they get the question wrong, they are grabbing another note card and repeating until they get it right. It's all mental, it's all quick, it's all, it's all easy. Again, de developmentally appropriate uh, note cards based on their grade and ability. So let's say you were going back to the brain body choice. Let's say you chose the body. I encourage the kids to go to the body one time and go to the brain the other. That way they're not doing the same thing the whole time. So if we go to the body, we're going to turn right, and we're going to go up around the aorta, and we're traveling down, okay, going parallel. We're going to do a specific speed ladder footwork drill. We're going to differentiate the complexity based on the age of the class, um, anywhere from just simple run straight through one foot in each square to a hopscotch to an ollie shuffle to an icky shuffle, something like that. So the kids, this is, again, this is traveling to the body section. So once they get down here to this box, this is where they perform the body exercise. In the, in the box, I have lots of exercise cards. These are from Ben Perillo, again, who is a great resource. He's called these bang cards. All right, on each card, they have a picture of the exercise. You can see the name, the reps, and the muscles that they help benefit. So again, I want to thank Ben for sharing these. Um, go ahead and download them and Take a look at him, contact him if you want, at Coach Perillo on Twitter. So the students do the exercise here in our exercise area. Once they do the exercise, they then travel over the rope, back up and around, staying outside the white line. We're, we're calling this our inferior vena cava. We're going up, back into the right 
atrium, we're grabbing a scooter, and we are repeating. So the students go through this at their own pace, uh, not, not obviously emphasizing any competitiveness. We're traveling through. I have some questions at the end that the students answer, either in small groups individually or as a class. Uh, I'll try to put a collaboration video together later as the students actually are doing the course. So if you have any questions, you can certainly contact me um, on Twitter. I'm at, at exercise, E-X-E-R-C-Y-S. I also posted a picture of this layout um, earlier in the week on Twitter. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, this is just my take on the human heart obstacle course.